Heritage is again fortunate to be offering uh, a class one 1804 dollar, the Nickley specimen that'll sell in August in Chicago, uh, August 8th and 9th. And it's, uh, like I said, the Mickley specimen. And this is one of my favorite 1804 dollars, mainly because I like a lot of these kind of rarities, uh, this particular coin, because for the first 140, 150 years, only four or five people owned the coin. So it wasn't something where we see a lot of these major classic rarities uh, going from hand to hand over the next uh, every few years. Uh, this particular one for the first 140 years only uh, resided in a few cabinets. And uh, we were lucky that we sold the coin um, in 2010 for uh, about three point, a little over 3.7 million, if I recall correctly. And I think the marketplace for major rarities like this continues to be extremely strong, as evidenced by our last sale in the Central State sale in Chicago, where so many different items sold for over a million dollars. So I see no reason why uh, this uh, sale is going to be equally impressive. And who was Mickley? Where does this pedigree come from on this piece? Well, as a lot of your viewers already know, uh, these coins first sort of appeared in the early 1840s. And then it was the 1850s, it was owned by some bank teller, and it wasn't until 1858 that uh, Mr. Mickley ended up owning this coin, and then owned it for the next, oh, 50 years or so. Um, and uh, so it kind of became the namesake of this particular item. And that's what happens with a lot of the 1804 dollars or the 1913 uh, nickels. Even though there's a lot of people that are fortunate enough to, to own them, uh, that first person tends to uh, get the reference point. And finally, you deal with a lot of high-level investors and collectors. What is the mentality like now that people are starting to figure million dollars for a coin is actually a good value? It's a great question. And it's not just in numismatics. Even though numismatics, rare coins uh, and uh, currency, are uh, by far our largest category at Heritage, uh, we're sort of uh, fortunate and it's fun to be able to work in some 33 different categories that we're involved in. And we're seeing now across all those different categories, whether it's Civil War memorabilia or sports memorabilia or rare wines or vintage comic books, in each one of these categories, we're seeing record prices being paid and staggering prices and impressive participation levels in all of these different categories. So it's not just in numismatics, but it seems to be a worldwide, not I wouldn't say a phenomenon, but uh, it's, uh, there's an enthusiasm worldwide for really great collectibles. And leading the way are these ultra classic rarities like the 1804 dollar. Just one final one for me. Todd, you're holding an 1804 dollar. What does it feel like to handle such rarities all the time? People ask me uh, whether or not I become desensitized to holding it, and the answer is I don't. Uh, I'm one of these guys, uh, I, I still love numismatics. I love everything about them, and it's still incredibly special anytime I hold um, uh, a major classic rarity. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a multi-million dollar coin. There's lots of coins that are worth a few thousand dollars that I just think are wonderful and I love to look at them, uh, much like your viewers do uh, as well. But uh, yeah, look, it's an 18, class one, 1804 dollar. It's a special uh, event no matter when it happens. And uh, I, I hope all your viewers get a chance to uh, come to Chicago and see the coin. It's a, uh, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity and a piece of history.